Welcome back to 13 News at 4. Today, while many families are planning their summer vacations, a father and daughter in Hamilton County are planning their life-altering doctor's appointments. Our Chase Howell spoke with the family of three on how a complex surgery could make life a whole lot easier for a 10-year-old girl. While most 10-year-old girls spend their mornings worrying about what to wear, Olivia McKenna spends part of hers taking multiple blood pressure medications. Olivia was first diagnosed with a rare condition called mid aortic syndrome when she was eight, a condition her family says narrows the aorta artery, restricting blood to her kidneys. My friends like to play like running games and I get like really tired. So I have to like sit down and sometimes I'll get headaches from it. This year, Olivia was diagnosed with another health issue. This one being a connective tissue disorder. They went in and they were doing genetic testing, trying to figure out what um, was going on, if there was any sort of underlying disease that caused this, and they found the Ehlers-Danlos. Her only hope in living a happier and healthier life lies nearly a thousand miles away in Boston, Massachusetts. We'll just uproot our life for you know a month, two months to be there, and as far as surgery, I mean, fifty thousand. I don't know. That's kind of what was estimated when this was all you know, coming to light. But Olivia wasn't the only one to get a diagnosis this year. So did her dad, Michael. And he says it's stage four pancreatic cancer that spread to his liver. I want to be here for all the important things, but in the grand scheme of thing, I won't. Chick-fil-A. No. <laughs> While the big decision Tuesday night was what's for dinner, one thing is already for sure. Michael will see his daughter get this surgery. I told them, that that's going to have to be part of my care is her care. So we'll have to either, you know, pause my care just to get her taken care of and then resume mine. But yeah, that's my plans. Regardless, both plan to fight for the future. Reporting in Fishers, Chase Howell, 13 News. Hmm. Oh, you feel for their family. Yeah. My it just goodness. It puts everything into perspective, doesn't it? Does. It does. Hopefully it they does. can feel the loving arms of their friends and family around them right yes. now. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. We are thinking of you as well. Mm -hmm. 